In this video, we're going to look at qualitative data analysis. Although sometimes when we do research we gather numbers or quantitative data, often we will gather ideas and opinions rather than numbers. And so, for example, on a questionnaire, you may ask an open-ended question which leaves the response entirely up to the person who's filling in the questionnaire. Similarly, in an interview or in a focus group, people are free to respond however they wish to the questions and therefore there is no pre-planned set of response options. This qualitative data needs to be analysed. But it's not quite so straightforward because it depends on our understanding of what's been said to influence our analysis of the meaning. So in this example we're going to look at what we think makes a good teacher and one of the questions on the survey you were asked to complete earlier has gathered your responses. So I'm going to copy the responses that we gathered go to a blank sheet and simply paste them in and then a few adjustments to make them easier to read. So I've made the column wider, making the rows narrower, and I'm going to change this text around using format cells so that it's horizontal. So now I have the text, it won't be confused with all the other responses. So this is a clean worksheet with just the text that I'm wanting to analyse. And the first stage of analysing qualitative data is identifying the themes or areas that the responses fall into. Sometimes you may have a theory or a framework and you can use the, the categories from the model or framework in order to classify the data. And sometimes you might have an idea in your head as to what those themes are going to be, but you're not sure. If you don't start with a framework, it's a good idea to first just look through the data to try and understand what the different responses are. So just looking at this table, we can see they're talking about the way that teachers communicate, they're talking about whether they're helpful, they're talking about how easy going a lecture is, they're talking about listening and encouragement, talking about humour and so on. So having looked through the comments we can then identify what we think will be some of the themes. So, good communicator, that seems to be important, helpful, friendly or approachable, that they're fair, that they're tough when needed, that they are fun or humorous. Just shading these headings just so that they stand out better. Notice I've made uh, a few extras because there might be more. So I'm going to have another look. Patient. I'm going to come back and add to those. So what we're drawing up here is really a, a grid or a table. with categories for the different responses and 
on a very quick look through I've identified that these are the different things that students feel makes a good teacher. I can adjust them, add to them or amend them as I wish as I'm going through it. Let's take the first comment then. They used exciting methods, tricks and stories that help me remember. Now I could put that under good communicator because they're using these methods to do the communication but it seems to me that this is slightly different in that this is the methods rather than ability to communicate so I'm going to as I said go back here and add that so the methods that teachers use okay so if we go back here then so they like excitement tricks and stories that make it memorable. Now I could just put all of that in but actually I'm going to put it in my own words so exciting, they like tricks, they like things that are memorable and they also mention stories. Now notice that I've put each of these aspects of the response into different rows all under methods used but by putting them in different rows I can acknowledge the fact that they were different points that were being made. If we go back to the second one it will always help me. I think that means being helpful although it could mean something else. Understood me, I think this is the teacher. Explained to me nicely the lectures when I need it. This response is another good example of the dangers of qualitative analysis. It might be that what this person meant isn't what I think they meant and therefore I might misinterpret it. However, we need to look at the context, think about the best teacher you ever had. So I'm going to make the assumption that they're saying the teacher is helpful, tries to understand them and good at explaining. So we've got good at explaining, tries to understand student, always helps. Okay, so we've seen that there is a degree of interpretation when we're doing qualitative analysis and this will be true for your work as well. Therefore, it's very unlikely that any two pieces of qualitative analysis within this activity will be identical. Let's look at the next, interacting with students and approaching think that means approachable and interacting with students I think is very similar so that fits nicely and the next one easygoing fair and tough interesting spellings there so easygoing fair and tough so fair we've got a tough somewhere as well and easy going I think probably belongs in this category and we will continue and work our way through all of these comments to complete this table you can see here that I have now completed the table with the different themes or areas across the top and some columns are very short and some are very long. So let's have a closer look. Under the good communicator there are different types of comments. We've got those that are talking about 
explaining abilities. We've got those that talk about making it interesting. And interestingly, we've got somebody here talking about their enthusiasm. They might be possible to categorise separately. So I might need to look at that again. Friendly or approachable. So we have in terms of easy to approach. We have in terms of knew my name. I think there's only one of those comments. And caring and easy going and so on. So having got this far, I want to summarise it again to put together the comments that are the same or very, very similar. So if I start with a good communicator as an example, good at explaining, communicates well, interesting. Okay, so let's look at how many that say interesting. counted them again as I deleted them, there were actually six. Good at explaining. One. It's probably safer to shade them in. One. Two. Four. Eight, nine. So this I've selected now I can go. to understand I think that's probably means the same thing as well so I'm going to put that in there easy to understand I think is also part of the same good at explaining so put that in there I think use of language and communicate well kind of go together because you use your language to communicate so put that in there. Interesting to be structured and to be enthusiastic about their subject. And we need to do the same then with the remaining categories. And I'm coming to the end now of this reorganisation of information you'll see there are lots of sets of information that I've put together and some that I've moved from the column that they were in into another column that I see as more useful. This table is much more clear and easy to understand than the long lists that I had earlier and I can work on this further to make it even clearer. With your research this is exactly what you should be doing so that you end up with as clear and precise and accurate summary of the comments made as possible.